AT&T Stadium. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And running with power here. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Good, strong, explosive run that started inside, which means you've got to control those defensive linemen, the defensive tackles, the nose guards. Those guys have to be controlled. How about the offensive line, the job they just did? Yeah, key that A-gap usually on those runs, right? That's where it all starts because everyone wants to kind of control that area. It disrupts things from the defensive side and the offensive side. As we just saw, it opens up possibilities. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. A first down throw for Prescott. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Here's second and ten. Prescott now. Able to hit his target lane. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 20-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. And now we're going to get a stoppage. Remember the Cowboys shaking up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal. Pollard going to be stopped before he can get moving forward as he'll lose a couple back to the five-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. On second down, it's Pollard. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Prescott on third and goal. That ball is caught. It's Gamma. Touchdown, Cowboys. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Cowboys get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Let's make no bones about it. On paper, they're the better team. They're at home. That's a strong opening drive. And just think how many times we've seen this type of a matchup. Just what you said. Better team at home should steamroll them. And we've seen it go the other way. Sometimes, though, they buy into it and understand we are the better team. Let's go out and prove it right now. Aubrey good with a PAT, and that makes the score 7-0.
So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. Six foot four inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's complete. He finds Jaden Reed. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And this will be a Packers first down as the tackle made at about the 38. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. After the run by Jones, here's first and ten. They go bootleg. Love. He has it complete to Christian Watson. They'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 45-yard line. Off the option, it's Jones. And this will be a Packers first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. First carry now for A.J. Dillon. And he's got some space here. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Now that's a big time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. Now a first down carry by Jones. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Now a second and two. They'll go again to Jones, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. To pass, here's Jordan Love. He's got Watson, it's caught, touchdown Packers. 10 yards on the touchdown pass. And the Packers are an extra point away from drawing level. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Carlson's extra point up and good, and we are tied at seven. He 
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action, now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But you know, there was a big time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, <laughs> if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> that Woody he would have kissed it on the ground. <laughs> And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Rashawn Gary that time through the line and getting the tackle for loss. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. It's caught. Tolbert. So nothing doing there. And it'll be a third and about 13. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, Prescott stripped. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense got it. They were already within a shadow of the goalpost. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. Here's Brian Anger now. As his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. Now a fair catch taken, maybe a yard or two shy of midfield. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Packers will have a short field to work with here as they take over first and 10. Love going to give this one to Jones. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Love now. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Micah Parsons showed off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. And that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. They need 18 yards here on third down. Throwing. Love. And this is going to be incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. Kavante Turpin deep for the Cowboys. Fair catch called for and collected right at the 10-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 11. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. 
And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Second and one now from the 21. Going to run again here with Pollard. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. 66 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and we'll still get the first down. They love being physical. Prescott on first down. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Here's second and three. Prescott to throw it. Tosses the out route here to Gallup. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Uh, Cowboy first down there, Prescott to Gallup. A little football one-on-one there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it, and this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Well, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And, Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Following the interception, Love. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Love looking to throw it. Incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Now a second and 10. Love drops it to Jones in the flat. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. On third down, Love. And he'll be brought down shy of the first down marker at the 11. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there. They'll go for it on fourth. Again, it's love. It's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get them the football back. Fourth down, and they take to the air, which really isn't a major surprise. But how about the coverage? They're able to bat it down.
Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Here's a screen now for Pollard. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. A little screen pass, back door them, and that time worked well for a solid game. Off the play fake, Prescott. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Ferguson. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Play fake. Here's Prescott. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. Final play of the half, Prescott. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes in bounds. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought report. this one would be a away, close coach. battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. It's a tied football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 21. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because, remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion, and sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. you got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. They'll bring a tight end in motion right. Love with a give to Dillon. And he takes us across the 15 to the 17. Malik Jefferson in there on the stop. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Love. They go play action now. That's going to be caught downfield by Reed. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there 
Nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Off the play fake. Love. Over the middle complete. That's Reed. Calling a gain of three on the play. And that will bring up second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. And they'll come up second and seven. Now Love. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. To the air again, Love. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively. The first incompletion, and more importantly, first a quick punting situation. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll kick it away for the second time. This will be fielded at the 17. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Throwing, Prescott. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. They'll have very good starting field position here as they try to break our tie, and they start first and 10. First and ten, Love. Throwing left side, and Watson has it. And down inside the 15, he goes. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. And inside give to Jones. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 11 yards there, just like last play. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. So stuff from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action? Definitely. Let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. Jones. is in. Touchdown, Packers. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Carlson's extra point up and good. And that makes the score 14 to seven. 
Just a four-play drive that time. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Knives his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Second and seven from the 20. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Prescott from the gun. Swinging this out for Pollard. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And it'll be second in a couple. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now, loose football. The ball comes out. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it and they take over they'll set up shop at the 46 yard line but he has been a workhorse for them in this game and ball security hasn't been an issue until that point yeah and let's face it when he's going to carry the ball that many times he becomes more and more of a target for the defense knowing that he's going to be the primary guy they'll just send more and more players towards him trying to make sure they knock the ball free the Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. <laughs> on first and ten, Prescott. Finding room at midfield. And finally brought down right at the midfield stripe. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And a good run here as they'll rumble all the way down to the four-yard line. 
79 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. First down, Prescott. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Meanwhile, Dax throw there, caught by Gallup. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. To throw is Prescott. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16. And another first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll throw again. Prescott. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth-quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. This one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Nixon now from his end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 22. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He finds his receiver, Watson. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. I like what I'm seeing from them here. Tie game in the fourth quarter. They understand the situation. They don't need to be in any rush. Go ahead and huddle up and run your offense. That last completion put them in a nice position to take the lead in this game. Out of the shotgun is Jones. And he'll get a few yards here to the 34. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. From the 34-yard line, here's a second and eight. to pass. Here's Jordan Love. A short throw to Musgrave. No gain on the play. And third and eight now. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Well, this crowd making it hard to hear. This is third and eight. Here's Love. Work in the middle of the field. He's got a man complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line.
Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and ten as they search for a go-ahead score. Up the middle, Jones. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Here's a second and seven. Off the option, it's Jones. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. On the counter, here's Jones. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Hey, that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock, and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off. Now on the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you haven't, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. Carlson's extra point up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. Cavante Turpin now to return. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So Dak and the Cowboys down 21-14. A minute 24 to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Now Prescott. That's complete to Lamb. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. They come up now on second and two. Prescott. Complete. Pollard. That's what they need right now. Get the first down. Get out of bounds. Stop the clock. Just playing smart football. Understanding the situation. Making the plays necessary. And making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. To throw. Prescott. Oh, Prescott stripped. And the Packers pick it up. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. And they were hoping to get down there, get the score, and get this thing into overtime. How deflating. Absolutely. I mean, let's face it, heartbreaking. They had an opportunity, had a chance, and probably were feeling pretty good about what was going on. And that was taken away from them by their own mistake. Yeah, the opportunity squashed. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. Double. 
We got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. The Packers looking to get out of here with a win as they take the knee. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world and get it done, <laughs> I feel that. I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. <laughs> And this one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well... Here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle. Go on to victory. Now 